Hello everyone, it's Hugh here, and summer's almost over. Well, technically I suppose summer is actually over, because it's uh, mid-September now. But I'm looking outside, and the British weather has decided that it would be great fun for the whole of summer to stay really grey and overcast. And then, oh, in September, I think let's get all sunny. That's no good, British weather. Well, actually, in the south, to be fair, I think the weather's been really good because I always go on the weather forecast and below where I live, it's really sunny and happy and there's deer, deer frolicking and lambs doing sheep stuff. And then just where I live, there's a circle of black cloud and it's misery and sorrow and pain and floods. Right, they've got a hosepipe band in the south. Well, they did. I don't know if they still do. They had a hosepipe band in the south, and here we're practically swimming. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's my rant about the weather. But it's been a good summer, actually. Uh, I went to Wimbledon for the first time for tennis, for those of you who don't know. Um, and I stayed there for a week, saw a lot of good tennis. It was really fun. To be honest, the whole camping experience is probably just as good, if not better, than the actual tennis, because you meet some really good people there, and it's a bit, it gets a bit dirty, but it's, it's like a music festival, I suppose. You just go camp out for a few days, queue up, oh, the queues. The queues are impressive. We queued at one point for 37 hours straight. Yeah. That's impressive, eh? Well, we weren't actually like stand we weren't like standing in a queue for thirty six hours straight because that'd be a bit much. But um you get in the tent queue, you pitch your tent and then you've got to stay with your tent. Um so you can't like pitch your tent and go and book into a five star hotel. Uh you've got to pitch your tent and then stay with the tent and you get a queue card to say your position in the queue. And then in the morning, you collect all your stuff together and go in the queue. But um, anyway, yeah, we were doing that for like 36 hours at one point, And we were number 10 in the queue of like 7,000 people. It was awesome. Um, but then Andy Murray went and lost that. So that wasn't that great. He, he did well, though, didn't he? I don't know if anyone who's watching this watches tennis, but Andy Murray lost the Wimbledon final in four sets against Roger Federer. But then he beat him in the Olympics and he went on to win his first Grand Slam in the US Open. Come on. Me and Andy, we've got this connection. It's the face thing. People say I look like him. Um, but only if I look miserable. Like that. Uh, and after Wimbledon, we went to Turkey. I went to Turkey with my family, which was so hot. It was like 45 degrees every day, and I still managed not to get a tan. That's effort. Because I was really paranoid about um, getting um, sunburned. So I put like factor 5,000 on me every day. And then I went outside, and like after five minutes, I'd be like, oh, better put some more on, might get skin cancer. I'm not actually that paranoid about skin cancer, but I didn't want to get burnt because it's a pain. Um, so I'll just keep lathering it on, and then I didn't get a tan. I got, like, a tiny tan. Well, on the last day, I was like, oh, ten minutes in and the sun won't hurt. And I, I lay on a lilo in the swimming pool for ten minutes, and I woke up and I was like, beetroot. I looked like beetroot. Or is that purple? I looked like something red. And it was, yeah, it was pretty unpleasant. Uh, so, yeah. I think that'll do it for this vlog, because it's about, what, 4 minutes 20? So, yeah, that'll do. Uh, I probably won't put up one tomorrow, because I, actually, I do have something to do tomorrow, which is exciting. Um, but then after that, everyone's running off to uni and leaving me for another week or so, so, yeah, I'll have nothing else to do except for sit in front of the camera for a whole day. So yeah, I'll see you in two days time.